crossing milepost 9.45 on the Green Mountain Railroad, I guess. Martinsville, covered bridge, railroad crossing, and I think we just missed the train, which really sucks, because this is a really cool place. There's a cut of tank cars just out of sight down there, uh, just sitting, I don't know, in storage, I guess. Okay, we're here at Riverside and there's a train. That's news to me. So now I'm here uh, over the Connecticut River. New England Central Bridge is right there. Vermont Railway, Green Mountain is right here. They cross right down there by the train station. Now the only problem is the road to go to the train station appears to be closed. But I see cars and people down there, so there must be another way. This is my first time here and I'm still learning the ropes. Lots of Amya tank cars down there though. That's pretty cool. I have to go check those out because I am a big Amyakar fan. Walking into downtown Bellows Falls en route to the train station while uh, the other members of our traveling party are getting food at the uh, Dairy Joy, I think it's called, where I just was. Um, yeah, I didn't want to sit around, so I'm getting my exercise in. Pet store, trading company. It's like a, like a more modern and... Uh, Smaller Harper's Ferry. Not smaller, but different than Harper's Ferry, but also very similar, in my opinion. I had quite the detour to get here, but I'm finally entering the island of Bellows Falls. New England Central Rail Bridge right there. Vermont Railway Rail Bridge right there. There's a total of four railroad bridges going into and off of this island. It's crazy. Unfortunately, it's not quite as active as it used to be. Back in the even the 80s and earlier... This was a junction town. We finally made it after a much longer walk than I originally thought, thanks to half the roads being closed. The Amtrak Bells Falls Station, the Green Mountain Rail Station, New England Central Railroad, Vermont Railroad. It is uh, honestly really cool to be at a junction with like a diamond crossing. This is actually I think this is the first diamond crossing I've ever been to, like where two lines are just intersecting. Uh, at grade, you know, most of the lines in New York cross over bridges, but nope. This one is a diamond right there. Right there, folks, Bellows Falls. There it is, Bellows Falls Diamond. I don't know why I think this thing is so cool, but I do, and I'm going to show it. Then we have Omni cars, Omni cars, like three tracks worth of Omni cars, and like one uh, covered hopper. Original searchlight signals. I'm not sure if they're original, but they're old, obviously. Yeah, this is the place. Not much going on right now. The uh, Vermont Railway 208 is up at Riverside, but they should be returning uh, fairly soon with their either their load or just the light power. Um, and they actually their shop is over in North Walpole, New Hampshire across the river um which is the fourth bridge i haven't shown yet um and that's up this way so we'll have to check that out that dip in the track is absolutely insane that's crazy this is the bellows falls tunnel um it's like the most narrow like if i was in that tunnel and a train came like 
there was no way I could like squeeze along the side. There's no clearance whatsoever. Um, and then of course you have the bridge over the one side of the river because like I said, we are on an island. It would be really cool to shoot a Vermonter here. We'll see if we end up being here when it shows up. I think it's like 5.30 arrival. Um, definitely a unique spot. I saw a picture on rail pictures of a Pan Am, Pan Am uh, BFED, which is the Bellas Falls turn for Pan Am um, going down and right at that crossing on the other side of the tunnel, the plow was like scraping the ground. It's crazy. This is like tight clearance New England railroading. Um, and the best part about it, not a single class one. These are all short lines and regionals. Vermont Railway, New England Central, Pan Am. Um, and Pan Am is going away, so we'll have to try to get them. Well, there's our first bit of freight action for the day. Vermont Railway 210. Shoving cars, it looks like they're shoving all the way across the river to Walpole. And uh, speaking of that, I think we're gonna head over there and check it out on our way to the Table Rock Trail, which I'll talk about in a minute. All right, here we are in North Walpole, Vermont Railway maintenance equipment. Um, I guess we'll just keep driving until we see something or somewhere to go. Uh, I see a crew member walking, which means they probably... Oh, they shove way down there. Okay, well, I guess we're going down there. I see a Clarendon and Pittsburgh caboose. There are Green Mountain passenger trains stored here. Uh, I hear an EOT. Um, and uh, here's our friend, the 208. They shove those green cars all the way down to the end here. And I'm not sure if this cut has to go, like, back across or what, but... So there they are. Uh, and they just disconnected from their train. So we'll figure out where we can go. We're at the Portage Trail turning around. This reminds me a lot of my beaver pond at home. And just like my one at home, it's also flowing the overflowing the trail that's below it. So here goes nothing. We survived. On the way back down. That was, uh, honestly, that was worth it. Coming up that steep hill. And it was probably close to a mile, but the view is amazing. You can even see Okimo, which we went by uh, much earlier this afternoon coming to here. So yeah, next stop, Bellows Falls, where we are going to check out the Amtrak Vermonter coming in. We are into the giant concrete block zone which I am probably not supposed to walk on these but I have longer legs than most people so why not we are almost down and should have plenty of time to get over to the train station to watch the northbound Vermonter come in
to the uh, end of the platform. Racing the Amtrak Vermonter. We're not quite fast enough. And the conductor gave me a weird look, like, why am I chasing the train? Way up there is where we hike to. We are now back in Bellows Falls and the Vermont Railway North Walpole, New Hampshire yard is over there. Green Mountain Railroad passenger equipment. Then uh, the freight storage. So we got some Amya cars, random box cars, green cars. Um, and I'm guessing those will go somewhere on the NECR or Pan Am tomorrow. Probably NECR. Uh, the Pan Am cut, like I said, is waiting across the river, also in Bells Falls, but not on the island. So we'll have to see what they do with those. We are leaving Bellows Falls. There is a mystery signal for a southbound, but it's red and we don't have time to worry about it. So yeah, goodbye Bellows Falls, a beautiful town.